What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do this show, Fix Friday, every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast in the middle of the week and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. Today for Fix Friday, we are playing a six-player classic fixed community game on my Twitch stream. So we're live on Twitch or having a, having a nice chat to keep me interested settings for this game are world domination on classic auto setup 60 second turn expert ai and we don't have any fixed cards balance splits dice with alliances on and fog and blizzards are off and i'm in the third position <coughs> in position one we have lee general dvd fly the flag of canada with 369 hours play 209 wins and 101 losses in position two, we have Relord2969 from the United States of America with 140 hours played, 9 wins and 53 losses. In position three of myself, this is the Anything That Goes Pete account. I subbarred the Sneaky33, flying the flag of Nauru. I'm a low-level GM on this account, 106 hours played, with 171 wins and 120 losses. In position four, we have the final countdown one from the United States of America. 85 hours played with 17 wins and 18 losses. Just a hair shy of a winning record. In position five, we have Jay Gozo from Finland. 248 hours played, 157 wins and 162 losses. And rounding it out, we have TBH Fix the Reich System. This is Big Heizung. And he's flying the flag of Germany. 70 hours played, 107 wins and 62 losses. All right. Blue has a better claim to Australia than me. I could put in for SA. I think I go for Europe. See how that goes. Llama says, hi, YouTube. <laughs> Orange, Pete, Susanna, General. I would never. Wes wants to play fix? Well, you just missed it then. You just missed it. Farmers and Smith. Come on, Lee General. Let's do this. We're rooting for Lee General. The ironic intro. Did you mean to say not ironic? Gandoli says, I play caps a lot and write them down in a spreadsheet. Ooh. Gando says about 10% of the time you lose less than is on the cap. That doesn't seem to make much sense to me, but okay. Way she goes. So it's a very volatile move. Orange says going to try and reach GM. You're not GM yet, Orange? Oh, not, not you, Countdown. The guy in the chat named Orange. <laughs> JK says, thanks to the leaderboard reset, I am still top 600. Yeah, I know I know who you are, Countdown. You're Countdown. Orange is orange. But Countdown is also orange in this game, so you can see the confusion. Um, yeah, let's continue to walk very slowly towards Europe. So what is on everyone's mind today? Other than the 
joys of classic fixed. I'm expecting big things from Lee General DVD sitting with 13 troops in Afghanistan. Also a little bit surprised that um, Haizong hasn't taken uh, Australia yet. Maybe all these fucking predators are swooping around. Oh, we can connect. Get our troops out of Europe. Wes says, I don't know what's on my mind. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> this guy. Reginald. Reginald. Are you going to help me win finally? Is this the one I win? Is this the one I get to win, Flumpus boy? Hmm? Kill Lee General DVD. Why? Why does it always kill Lee General DVD? He's a fuck. Kill him dead. What? Reginald. Lee General's a good dude. I would never. Yeah, now I got fucking cat hair all over me. <coughs> the evil cat. Reginald is filled with so much hate. He is a cat, after all. I'm surprised Haizong didn't connect and get his troops out of Europe. Hi, buddy. You are blocking me? No, what I mean, connect through here, right? So if you had gone there, you could have reinforced like that. But you took you took uh, Australia instead, which, which also is a fair play. Thomason Smith, Reginald would never diss the mighty DVD. <coughs> it's all looking good for JK. 11 stack in Mongolia. Yeah, final fuck your five stack. Guess I die. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, JK. Oh no. Okay. Orin says, remember that lost temple map? Yes, I do. Give the Pete the, give Pete the game strategy? Not yet. Yeah, it looks more like a given given the general the strat. The general doesn't want Australia. Oh, he wants to kill on JK. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. It looked like you were... You, were, you missed Madagascar, right? <laughs> Sorry, Lee General DVD. Ah, fucks over Heizog even further. Sorry, Heizog. What the fuck, man? Hey, Parlox is here. What's up, dude? What's going on in the world of Parlox? Okay, you can play next game, buddy. Yeah. And now Red doesn't remove JK from Madagascar. We're farming the kill. Classic Relord behavior.
<laughs> JK says, we definitely have some good old public lobby vibes going, yeah, because you fucking suicided. Because <laughs> you fucking suicided to Isaac, man. Heising says, Suicide 2 coming in. Oh, no. Who's this one going into? Ah. JK says, I will not be farmed by Lee General DVD. All right, Heising got a 10 stack. Ooh, baby. He wants Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bullshit. Look at this. This is the, yeah, this is a wild, wild match, ladies and gentlemen. JK, I have a pretty strong feeling this one won't end in a stalemate. <laughs> the title of this video will be No Australia, You All Die. <laughs> Everyone killing each other for Australia. All right, Reload going to take Madagascar. Shrug. Okay. GG. Lolo, Pete being galaxy brain. Here we can see a grown man dying by laughing too hard. Alright, so if I can construct a scenario where I'm good with Relord and I'm good with Countdown. Haizung down to 13 troops in two positions. Lee General down to 11 troops, but he will hold Australia by the looks of it. And let's see how this game goes from here. I feel like the nonsense level has to be diminishing at this point, right? We started out with maximum nonsense, so... All right, Heizung staying alive. 16 troops tied up with Lee General. <clears throat> Quick, Maximiza nonsense. If you take NA, why would I take NA? Lee General says, How can I show strategy if all the time you go crazy on me? You can't blame me for this one, Lee General. It wasn't me, I did nothing wrong. All right, countdown in a very strong North American position. 43 troops in the troop lead holding the best bonus. This is the final countdown's game to lose.
Bad roll for Haizong. Reload tries to get a little value out of that two stack. Sure, should have used your four. Should have used your four. Show some trust to countdown. Holy shit, we got a fucking novel from Wes here. <laughs> Pete, don't put that type of pressure on me. Let's all go stupid to the next Fix Friday game. Harlick says agreed. Lee General says, bros, why can't I have a true fix game? I don't know, Lee General. <laughs> but Parlox thinks it's because you suck. All right, Wes. Oh, okay, here's something to talk about. Pete, let's imagine a world where veganism is successful to the point where all animals are domesticated and eventually evolve vocal cords and the capacity to communicate their self-awareness. Now, they want equality in society to vote their own property, etc. How long do you imagine they will hold disdains for humans being enslaved and farm them? What will you do to right the wrongs of your ancestors? You, you want to talk about slavery, Wes? Is this an allegory for slavery? Controversial. Okay. Can't let you have both. Yeah, I understand. Neither can uh, neither can Relord apparently. Yeah. Hacker eight 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 exclamation mark donate. An allegory. I've heard that word in my life. <laughs> Are you being allegorical, Wes? <coughs> 69 troops, let's go orange. Oh, I don't have the dial on this account. Thank you. Thank you, JK. Someone, someone hooks it up. So the, the answer to your question, Wes, in my opinion, is you do absolutely nothing to right the wrongs of your ancestors because uh, you do not bear guilt for the wrongs of your ancestors. You are alive due to some dint of luck that your ancestors didn't die and were able to successfully reproduce, but that is the extent to which I bear any guilt of association with them. I was born into this world cold and naked, as were you. So, um, the guilt I bear towards anything in this world has solely to do with my actions and nothing else. Does Haizong bot? 
No! Uh-oh. Now we got a bot in Asia. That's not good. Do I have a donate link? No, I don't. Should I set one up? You want to give me money? <laughs> <coughs> I should set up a, I should set up a Patreon or something if you want to give me money. I appreciate it. It just kind of baffles my mind why anyone would want to. So, okay. All right, I'll do it. JK says, currently the best way to support the channel is through subs and bits, but I do hope Pete sets one up. Okay, I will. I'll do it. Because you guys are asking me to do it, not because I'm a greedy fuck. And says, but you are a greedy fuck. See, see this. This man knows. This man knows the story. What the fuck, dude? Not greedy. Unsubbed. <laughs> uh, I got greedy this game, as y'all saw. I tried to hold two bonuses. <laughs> so, I really like Countdown's game. Seventy-eight troops. Orange Nightball says, I'm doing a prog game and I'm just in a single position. Ooh, good luck. Good luck. Assassination, 1798. So much risk. <laughs> Indeed. It's risky out here. Seems like it's too risky. <laughs> What's up, Assassination? How are you doing today? Hazing says, I disconnected, but I'm back. I wouldn't miss my winning situation. Hey, don't count yourself out yet. You got 26 troops. That you can pump into Lee General DVD at any time. <laughs> Risk takers! VR Storm. Yeah, exactly. Y'all risk taking with me. I thought you said you were back, Hazing. What's this? What's this? Prolock says, if you don't quit right now and do another game with me, I won't donate $1,000. Just saying. You can get in the game, Prolox. I'm obviously not going to quit this game that's going and start a new game that isn't going. He disconnected again. No. No. Haizong. We got a Haizong bot in Asia. He's going to stir it up. Okay. Uh, you are a fun man. Thank you. I like to think of myself as a pretty fun guy. Let's get a little refill, shall we?
Heisenbot continues his rampage of terror across Asia. Wes says, I think in my hypothetical thought experiment about animals, our ancestors paid their debts by socially evolving to the point where the animals are no longer food. Um, okay. The implication there is that one species evolving to a higher level is somehow a moral good in comparison to... Um, the moral cost of the murder, right? The eating the animals. So can we equate... It, th this is like the argument for why um, um, scientific medical gains from the Nazi doctors might not be something that you would want to use, right? It's like um, science gained through coercion although it is still science, has some kind of moral cost, right? I'm not taking a position on that. I'm just kind of an analyzing it, right? Uh, why don't I finish the blue? So he's got 27 troops and three cards. Someone should. Yeah, you, you Lee General, you do it. Pete is a shiitake, just a real fun guy. Why was the mushroom the hit of the party? Because he was a fun guy. You guys, you do my fun guy jokes. I love it. Uh, now what happens? Countdown is thinking, thinking. It's another take. In South America. What's the difference between Pete and a mushroom? Nothing. They're both fun guys. Nice. Prolox has ever heard of antinatalism? Of course I have. Perhaps the animals wouldn't like to be intelligent. All right, so antinatalism is a fundamentally incoherent argument. Um, the idea is that... Let me see if I can do it justice. The idea of antinatalism is that it would be a moral good for us all not to be born because um, since we are self-aware, uh, we are aware that we suffer and therefore the nature of our existence um, is what gives our existence suffering. So the moral good here would be for us to simply not exist. Um, which strikes me as obvious nonsense um, and stems from a deep hatred of oneself. And very deep, right? Subconsciously deep. Like, if you truly believed that it w that your own existence as a human was so morally flawed that you should not have any other children, um, if you truly believed that, then you should kill yourself. <laughs> then the morally correct thing to do is to kill yourself. Um, oh, does he do it? See, I think... See, I would have expected Relord to break me. Right? I wouldn't have wasted the troops. I would have expected Relord to break me. So here's where Countdown falls for the exact same thing that, that got me. Right? So he's like, I can't let you have both. Okay, so now he's in a situation where Relord can't let him have both. Same diff. Now you get broken by Relord. And if he doesn't, um, then Relord gives count on the game. Yeah, he backs off to there. That makes more sense. He wanted to gain some territory, so he's getting 12 a turn. Let's see if Relord lets him have that extra troop. Paid for it. Having to push through a 15 of mine. Paid for it pretty good. All right, so... Let's get back to the chat. 
No, Pete, I just got back from Philosophy 202. I don't need to hear more about objective morality. All right, well, then don't fucking come on my philosophy show, Countdown. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about what I want to talk about on my show. Um, Lee General says, it's not my job to kill Blue. Heisen says, I am really out for real now. Okay, rooting for Lee General. Of course you are. Um, Wes says, imagine going to school for philosophy. You must have a lot of money. I didn't. I, mow, I mowed lawns. Uh... JK says, not to be too offensive to anyone, but antinatalism seems like a big oopsie in the neurological department. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said, JK. I just kind of backed it up with a little bit of a logical argument. Orange eyeball talking about his game. <laughs> the general says, I wish your computer had not shut down. Indeed. They opened up a big philosophy plant near Tucson, Arizona. What's a big philosophy plant? Oh, and he apologizes for ruining your game. Yeah. Well, there's still, uh, there's still five players alive, so it's not over yet, guys. Then what do you think about pro-natalism, Parlox asked. Well, I have decided to not be a father. And I did not enter that decision lightly. And I did not make that decision um, because I hate myself or because I hate people or because I hate children. Um, I made that decision because it was the pragmatic one for me and I didn't feel like I needed to... Um, have that piece of human experience as a prerequisite for my own satisfaction. And we, we will see if the course of life is such that um, that decision was a mistake, right? We don't know yet. How can I play in multiplayer mode? You go into play with friends and you post a code and you have other people join or you go on Discord and you join other people's games when they post a code. Um, am I the only one who's not playing the game right now? What is this conversation here? You don't know about antinatalism, Lee General? Oh, the argument? The argument is that um, if you're a human being and it is such a moral failing to be a human being then you should kill yourself, right? So the fact that we continue our own existence on a daily basis means that we tacitly consent to reality. And now we have a four-player game. Wes says, I hate everyone equally, all people and myself and children. Well done. Um, Countdown says, so I think antinatalism is about an individual moral obligation should not, not to reproduce and the moral corrupt due to the population having more children than they should. No. Um, the, I, the, the fundamental idea behind antinatalism is that as a human being who suffers, we are aware of suffering and therefore create it. So the fact of suffering makes human life um, on balance morally wrong, and therefore we should not continue it. But if you follow that logic internally, um, it means you should not continue your own as well. So it's, it's, it's the same with nihilism, right? It's just fundamentally nonsense and illogical. Um, Wes says, I do not consent to reality. I tried very hard not to get up this morning, but my puppy would not have it. Hey, Pete. What's up, Rooman King? How are you? All right, Lee General doing some punching. Mm. 
in general. So why? We have people that help other to not do it when they really want to. I don't know what that means. Heisen says, so antinatalism cannot mean that my life existence is fine, but we as humans did a lot of bad to the planet by killing most carnivores. Destroy you. Nah, don't even start with the environmentalism. So maybe we disagree on this, Heisen, and, and you tell me what you think. Um, environmentalism is an equally flawed concept. So the idea behind, the fundamental idea behind environmentalism is that the environment is a fixed and finite thing. It is limited, and therefore we have to preserve it. A um, couple of problems with that. Uh, the first one that jumps out to me is that as an organism that evolved from an environment, what we do as human beings is we suit the environment to match us. We are pretty much the first organism that we know of that invents things that don't exist. So we are outside of this environmental system in the sense that um, because we can invent things that don't exist, our environment is infinite. First point. Um, second point is there has never been a stable state in the environment throughout history. Species come into existence and go out of existence all the time, and there have been many, many, many extinctions that had nothing to do with human beings. Literally all of them before we came into existence. Now that's not to say that anthropogenic climate change isn't occurring and um, we are not responsible for destroying species, because we absolutely are. Um, what I am saying is that it is just another link in a chain of the way this environment would have evolved. And we should probably stop destroying our environment, right? The idea behind environmentalism is we are destroying the environment, which is nonsense. The environment doesn't care about you. We are absolutely destroying our environment, and we really should care about that. That's basically the spiel. <laughs> Nihilism isn't nonsense. Edgy millennials have just ruined it. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Wes always with the quippy quips. Oh, sorry, uh, JK with the quippy quips. Wes says nihilism is mistress that you later find out is a mister. <laughs> no matter salt bass will have a rinse you of the shame. Uh, well done. All right. This game just opened right up. Heising says, okay, the environment is neither fixed nor finite for me, but all change, not all change is equal. This is true. We are very much destroying our environment, and we should be very concerned about that. Yes. And now we're talking about nihilism. Yeah, you ain't, you got greedy, Countdown. You, you, you were punished for the same thing that I was punished for. The logic still applies, sir. Um, Wes says, Nihilism is bad for everyone, and I wish every day I could purge it from my mind, but I remain crippled by the fact that I die and nothing matters. I struggle to function and do normal human things, because why would I? Well, why wouldn't you? Either, either shit or get off the pot, right? We exist. It is the case. Fucking deal with it. Suck it up, buttercup. It's ridiculous. Uh, nothing matters, so I shouldn't do anything. Shut the fuck. It's like... Get over yourself. You're not that important. Heisen says, So where would one be put in if one thinks the existence of humans is great as we experience amazing things in this world, but humankind has not done well for this planet, which philosophy would want to adhere to? I would say pragmatism, because I think what you're saying is very obviously true. <laughs> I envy your position. Keep your head above water. You're living the dream. It's hard. It requires constant fucking work to keep my head above water. What do I think about Nietzsche? I don't understand Nietzsche very well. 
Um, so if you want to ask something about Nietzsche specifically, we can. But I don't pretend to be an expert. Parlox, what do you think about Nietzsche's philosophy? <laughs> Nothing matters and yet life is still great. It has to be. It has to be still great. And that is the only conclusion one can draw. Anything less than all is a mistake. Mm. Okay. Nietzsche, please don't miss the Z. Assume I'm not pronouncing German right. Uh <laughs> Yes, as a German, I can understand how that would bother you. Pete, please explain to me why my position is one of someone who is self-important. I don't know. What is your position? That nothing matters? Oh, um, the position that it, it implies that that life should matter. Right? That's what it is. Why should your life matter? What's the argument there? It is what it is, guys. What is this book reader's chat? Give me some fark jokes. <laughs> All right, Storm. Um, VR Storm wants a fark joke. Tee me up. I mean, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to ha have anyone have a shitty time in my chat, so... Um, <laughs> Ruman King says, The answer to that shit is on them. Life, shit is on them. Life is there for you to have fun and do shit. I agree. Oh no! Reload bought it! Well, that's bad. And bought. Sure. Okay. Big high song. I have no clue about philosophy, and I'm not one using those big words, but I try to give my two cents in the conversation. All good. Uh, countdown was greedy. Yes, it was mistyped. You pronounce Nietzsche just fine. Thank you. I try my best. Um, games will let you join back in. All right, so we lose Relord. All right, so after all of that whinging, Lee General DVD wins this game. <laughs> After all of that, just staying out of trouble turns out to be the correct strat. <laughs> Good for you, Lee General. I'm happy for you, buddy. Yeah, Relord is gone now. JK says, I haven't gone through my Nietzsche pile yet, but making good progress on the birth of tragedy. One point he makes is that a way to avoid the dreadful meaninglessness of life is through art and creation. Yeah, I have a three-phase theory of the actualized, actualized human life. Um, phase one is um, start a business, establish your needs of life, get make enough, get enough money, whatever, to um, 
Make sure that you don't want for anything. Phase two is then artistic creation, somewhere where I'm at in this project. Most people don't get out of phase one, mind you. Um, an artistic creation where um, you make a creative output to satisfy your, what I consider to be a human need to create. Am I car blocked? Hmm. Not anymore, fuckers. <laughs> Woo. Um, and then phase three is academic, where you try to synthesize the uh, the necessary creation with the creative one. So you add to the sum total of human knowledge in some way, which is both a creative and a material success. Um, oh shit, Reloader's gone. Countdown says, death is what makes life matter, not the other way around. That is a perspective. The General says, like, for me, the world's so small, I make friends on my way, and then your friends meet each other. I'm happy. Can we get an F in the chat for Reelord? Yeah, Reelord died. We losing countdown too. Why is everyone botting? Maybe I struggle with that because I'm trying to skip phase two. Yeah, well, do something creative. You you do video work, Wes. Doesn't it feel satisfying in some way? Doesn't it feel like you're doing something that you were meant to do? All right, he's back. He just missed a turn. Pete salutes for the loss of Relord, who stopped Countdown from being greedy. Someone had to do it. Oh, Lee General, go for it! Go for the hit! Why don't I defend the Europe? Oh, I lost Europe. You can't defend against a bot. Um, a strong, like, Reelord botting here completely changes the outcome of this game, right? What are we going to do? GG Countdown. And that's the game. this uh, from the last game? Sure, we can be friends. Alright, is Parlock still here? Did you want to do another game, Parlock? 
Fucking Relord. Ruined everything. Let's see if Prolux is still here. He is still here. All right. Better get in this game, Parlox. No, no, we'll do one more for you, too. That game was kind of unsatisfying. <laughs> the general says, my 800 IQ made it. Just like he always wanted. Oh, did Cat be like, it seems like I have just enough to not be taken out. No, sir, I took you out. You broke me. <laughs> I kill you. If I'm going to lose the game, so are you. Uh, Neo Neo 7-7. Seven, seven. Pete, thoughts on ancient megalithic structures such as Great Pyramids? How were they built? Probably the way that uh, archaeologists think they were. No? You think they were built by, like, an advanced civilization that no longer exists? Pollock wants to be blue. Yeah. There we go. Go for another game. Yes, we're going to do it. We're doing another game. Suiciders? All right. Is anyone here going to suicide? Please restrain yourself. Shit! We got a sub from Astrogan. Thank you, Astrogan. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Would you save me a spot, Pete? Come here. Come here, Lee General. <coughs> Looks like there's one spot waiting for you. But don't snooze on it. You snoozed on it. Let's go. Oh, no! Ah! Well, I guess we're playing five player. No, we can we can redo. We can redo this lobby. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to we'll restart everybody. Yeah, yeah. We'll restart. All right. So let's get everyone in that game who is in that game. Fuck me. I don't want to play five player. I could. Hi Zung's here. Wes says, yeah, I struggle to create that creative energy out of nothing. Inspiration is few and far between. You're right to have just cut it out and stop being a self-important loser. Unfortunately, knowing that is true doesn't help my state of mind. Yeah, my, the way my father puts it, Wes, is whatever gets you up in the morning. Like, I, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty good at uh, being self-motivated, but I'm also, you know, I, I've struggled with depression lifelong. So it's the little hacks that I can do to figure out how to beat my own tendency towards melancholy, right? Because you can really dwell in the negative and then it's no good for nobody. And it's also addictive, right? Depression is addictive in, in a very subtle way, but on some level you have to kind of want to suffer, which is insidious, and if you choose to not. Hey, Breadboy69 says, play 10 player. I would love to. I would love to. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got a six-player game. Everybody, ready up. Classic is a bit small for six players, but the chaos can be entertaining. Can I wait sixty seconds? Oh, sorry. I just I missed that, Haizang. Sorry, dude. Please don't be a bot. Don't make us do it a third time. No, I fucked up. I, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. All right, good. Sorry, man. For our second game today, we are playing the same settings. Classic Fixed, 60 Second, Expert, AI. We don't have any yet. Hopefully no one bots this time around. Bounce Blitz Dice with Alliance is on, and Fog and Blizzards are off. I'm in the second position. In position number one, we have TBH Fix the Rankings, and this is the Big High Zone from Germany. 70 hours played with 107 wins and 62 losses. Holy fucking shit! 
taking Africa on the first turn. That's intense. In the second position, we have the Altpeed account. This is Isambard the Sneaky 33 Anything Goes. Uh, flying the flag of Nauru with 107 hours played, 171 wins, and 121 losses. This is a base GM account. In position three, we have Lee General DVD from Canada. 370 hours played with 209 wins and 101 losses. In position four, we have my buddy Parlock's top 10 Grand Master. Flying the flag of Israel, 466 hours played, 1781 wins, and 160 losses. And it is always a joy to get to play with Mr. Parlock's. In position 5, we have Orange Nightball, flying the flag of Singapore, with 203 hours played. 75 wins and 117 losses. Enjoying the sweltering heat in my very favorite place in the world. And finally, in the final position, we have King John 2554 from the U.S. Virgin Islands with 84 hours played, 122 wins and 97 losses. Looks like Orange takes SA to try and combat. Kaizen's early take of Africa. I'm going to lose first this time around. By the looks of things. Alright, what did I miss? Uh, Parlox says, fuck you, Pete. Why? What did I do to you, Parlox? Um... Pete can only pick one fixed ranking system or ten player map. Why? Don't give me don't give me the set discourse of options. I would like the chocolate and the peanut butter, thank you very much. Why again a seven off Afghanistan? Yeah. What is up, Pete? How are you? I'm good, Andre. I'm good. How are you, buddy? Ooh, Lee General would like Australia. It worked out from last game. Parlex says, I'm going to move the three. Don't kill it, you asshole. Which three? <laughs> why are you Why are you threatening me, Parlex? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. The general wants to do 12-man 12, 12 civil world. Yeah, that'd be a, a dog shit, bunch of dog shit settings, I betcha. Neo Neo. Okay, the Great Pyramid, if it was built in 21 years, is one block placed every 5 minutes, 24-7. Those are large blocks moved from 10 miles away. Was it supposedly made in, in 21 years? That doesn't seem like a long enough time to build something that enormous. Maybe they had lots of slaves. And Moses said to Pharaoh, Let my people go. Maybe they had a lot of slaves. I don't know. Maybe they had so many slaves that there's an entire religious holiday that I have observed uh, in dedication of that. Maybe they didn't. I think I'm just going to... 800 IQ, huh? 800 IQ, huh? It's just alien Lego, brah. <laughs> yeah, is that all it is? I don't see the little bumps on it, though. They're smoother. Uh, they still haven't fixed the rank system. Damn, it's been months since I played and it was screwed up. Didn't we say no suiciding, though? I thought we said no suiciding. So lucky! Uh, 
Uh, maybe most of it was done by the aliens and they just finished it. Yeah, they haven't fixed the ranking system yet. They're, uh, they're listening now, at least, which is a nice step. Mm. They actually say it was built in 20 years. That's amazing. <laughs> Farlock says, I didn't know they have slaves. No? And what did you think you were celebrating in Pesach? Um... Wes says, I'm a slave to this fucking flesh. That's why I beat it. <laughs> beat the flesh. Fight the power. That was a masturbation joke. Um, I love you, Wes. Never change. Maddie says he was there. Nice. The experts say 20 years. A Greek historian says 100,000 men in roughly 20 years. Peach, no suicide, remember? Oh, we're far too late for that, Lee General. You die now. <laughs> OMG Pete, learn to read. I read. According to a couple of Joe Rogan podcasts, <laughs> between 20 and 50 years. I was joking about having them slaves. Well, it's a good thing that when you type in all caps, sarcasm doesn't carry over text. Eight hundred IQ, eh? No Australia, no win, ladies and gentlemen. We see it again and again and again. <laughs> Lee Chan was like, "Look at the guy take out the smart player in the start. The only way to kill me." <laughs> hey, man, you should have hit my stack in Australia, you fuck. Why don't I play any music? Um, so I either play music when I'm just chilling on stream, or if it's going to go on YouTube like this one, um, because you can't put copyright music on YouTube, I just hold off until the video is done. So I initially wanted that cap scan at the beginning to go on YouTube too, but that didn't work out, did it? Look, Pete learned from the last game. I'm a learning computer. And I die. I don't die. Oh, he's just farming me for later. Why are you letting him live? Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they just want to be on TV. Have you had any videos removed or get a strike? No, but that's because I don't play copyright music. You know what's funny, Ruman King? Uh, if you guys remember the 1,000 uh, subscriber video I did, which was my wife and I doing a cover of uh, an Eagle song, and it was just the two of us 
singing with a guitar and that got a shared copyright so because it is in fact an eagle song you can't even do a cover and get um full full youtube royalties from that so that was an interesting one and and i think it happens automatically too i think they just they got algorithms to detect the music and they're just like yeah that's that's the eagles okay Not farming, just evac and a parlox is dangerous. He is. Llama says, if you make the cover different enough, it's okay. Well, <laughs> should have just gone with Don Henley. <laughs> Although we'll do Don Henley for the next uh, the next uh, video. I actually should do something for a million views. That will be the next sort of benchmark I want to observe on the channel. So, if anyone has a song they think I could do that would be worth doing. I'm open-minded. Bread Boy says, uh, Don Henley. Not a bad choice by any means. Ah, uh, did we bought again? This is bullshit! Albuquerque by Weird Al Yankovic. Love it. Neo says, the thing is, it's not just the Great Pyramid. There are multiple pyramids and similar large megalithic structures all over the world. Blocks so big we could barely move them today. Some moved hundreds of miles. The ropes they supposedly had would not even be strong enough if you did have enough slaves. sending me hearts. I love it. I love you too, buddy. I love you too. That's insane. A live cover using, uh, using one guitar. What do you mean? It was just a little thank you video for, for the people. IDC again. Fuck this. Yeah, eyes on. Fuck this. He gets a great start with the strongest player in the game now. A bot. What do you do about that? PC shut down, I reconnected before my turn, killed Pete, and then it was Pete's turn. Unlucky me. Yeah. Something wrong with your computer or something wrong with your internet? Computer. Wes says, never change, born a clown, die a clown. Everyone point and laugh. Well, my descent into madness makes me more hysterical. Don't worry, I'd rather you be happy than us both be sad. Pagliacci. Alright, we got the Heizung bot creating a nice buff around King John's territory. Does not like Twitch, Risk, and Discord all at once. No. Get a new... Get a good computer, brah. Did Parlox card skip? Guess so. Copyright rules are a bit too much. Yeah. I think copyright is a... It's a bit of a flawed concept at this point. People trying to hold on to their scraps of value at, at tremendous social cost. The pyramid is a perfect shape if you want it to last basically forever. Right. The um, the wind wouldn't erode it. Hazen says, I'm unemployed and don't get YouTube royalties, mate. I need to play some poker before I can buy another computer. What's stopping you from playing poker if you're good at it?
all team up on Bond? <laughs> you were busy doing other stuff this week. Yeah, fair enough. I love how these pussies are asking me to fucking hit the bot. When Parlox took fucking North America from me. Fucking King John has a plus five as well. You guys fucking hit the bot. Fuck right off with your 60 troops. Let me cash back up and then I hit the damn bot. Oh, oh yeah. I am scared now. Bot lives matter. As an AI rights activist, I take offense to that. Hmm. You joke about it, but I, f I would absolutely foresee an AI rights thing being another niche that lawyers could suck the blood out of in the future. Fucking rat people. Everyone seems to be taking champion ever advice and getting these games going faster. Hey, done person, how are you? <laughs> Have I read Yuval Harari? Yeah, so um, Sapiens was, as far as I can tell, the first book I ever read where I immediately read the author's other two books. So I read, or rather I listened to, I, I don't read so good, I listen um, on Audible. So I listened to Sapiens and then I immediately listen to Homo Deus and uh, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century. And I think Sapiens will be seen as um, a significant book in historical context. And the thing about it that I loved was not sort of that it was anything um, all that original or something that I didn't know or um, out there ideas. What I loved about Sapiens was how Yuval Harari told a consistent story um, that was just very coherent and clean. Um, that's what impressed the shit out of me about Sapiens. So highly, highly recommended. If you like history, he is a uh, he's a brilliant, brilliant man. And the way he goes into predicting the future in in the second book, um, talking about how we will become amortal, right? Not immortal so much as we won't die of natural causes anymore, but um, we will then look at ourselves as a um, constantly failing system, right? So illness would be treated as something that you upkeep and work on and work on and work on. And it would probably lead to the to a society full of the most highest anxiety people in history. Pilot says, that's what you get, John. Fuck you. <laughs> AI rights, yeah. Sapiens was great. Yes, I think so too. Read Sapiens, guys. Franck is not sad. Hey, everyone. What's up, Franck? How's it going? Heising says, Homo Deus is amazing too, but since it is full of predictions, it has a high likelihood of not being true in the end. I don't mind um, alternative uh, history, just like I don't mind speculative future. Um, I think it's, it's very cool to see a historian shoot their shot and predict what um, will occur. And yeah, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Not everything's going to be true, but I like anyone that has the balls to say, this is what I think will happen, and then how, how true it will be. We shall see. I like to do something similar, so... 
JK says, genetically modified humans come first, then intelligent AI after we reach the apex of evolution, the near immortal homo machina with cell revitalization. I don't mind it either, but how can you not read as this is how it is going to be? <laughs> Parallax with a 69 stack, yeah. Neo says, history needs to be rewritten. Clearly, people were extremely advanced thousands of years ago and got wiped out. This actually goes in line with what many religions believe. JK says, unless we nuke each other in the next thousand years. You guys are on about all sorts of shit. Nuking could happen. There won't be any nuking. Come on. Pete says he does not read too well and he misreads my message. That's what I'm saying, guys. Like, don't give me fucking... Don't give me too much credit here. Pete! Have you heard of Altered Carbon? Yes, I watched the first season. I thought the second season didn't catch me. Uh, Barry Blade Runner asks sci-fi. A person's soul is stored digitally in a stack. As long as the stack is undamaged, it can be re-sleeved into a new body. Yeah, watch, uh, watch some Altered Carbon. I, I, I heard the book was good too, but I also heard it was quite different. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we see a war between Parlox and King John, which is good for Orange. Awesome show. Probably should read the books, too. The only nuking Putin will do is his hot pockets in his bunker. Wow, I made a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. This is what happened fucking last game with Lee General. People can't help fighting amongst themselves. Who hit the stack? Who hit my stack in China? Chat, somebody tell me. Who was it? Was it orange? Everyone attack Pete. Ooh, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, Black did. Everyone attack Pete. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that. That's not what I want to hear. That's not what I want to hear at all. Everyone attack Pete. How about everyone attack you? How about that? I got more troops than you, sir. You should die. Killed by chat. Actually, Orange attacked me. Nice.
Let's get a little more coffee here. Back to me again. <clears throat> Will I play with subscribers? Yeah, for sure. For sure. This is a, this is a viewer game right now. Um, hey, RJ's here. How's it going, RJ? You mean the loyal servants of the hand beat the game strategy? Well, it didn't work out so well last time. Good, how am I? I'm alright. <clears throat> Just hanging out today. I like oranges play. <laughs> yeah, I like it too. Seems like everyone is on right now. Who's everyone? Hey, Escape's here. What's up, buddy? Parlox is playing. Indeed he is. Always nice to see. Probably it's coming out to a bit of a lead, too.
Pete, I'm scared of your 100 looking at me. JK says, yesterday we did a 20 people party in Spud's VC. Too bad he was sleeping at the time. Oh man, he missed the party. That's too bad. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, it looks like there's a, a party going on in his VC now, too. Mm. Pete, how do we progress? Please help. Uh, give me a bigger bonus, and then I can help. Which uh, which five point continent would you like to give me, Parlox? Would you like to trade? Parlox is taking advantage. Hey, Heizen gift and subs to Parlox. Thank you, Heizen. Thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, I don't know how we progress this either. <coughs> Would be nice if we could, though. All right, Orange Nightball says he doesn't like my 100 stacks standing down. So this is just to take the pressure off of Orange Nightball. Sixty stack feel a whole lot less threatening, right? Hazing says, you're welcome. My level of broke is between gifting subs and not buying new computers. Ah, we're just cat... We're, 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 uh, we're making sure we are logically consistent. In the, in the tale, we tell the chat. A little post-hoc rationalization from the big highs on. The China-India split. Okay, we got a follow. OP Tick 64 welcome to the stream. What's up, what's up? How are you? There you go, black. <laughs> Hitting Parlox, risky proposition. Oh, and we got another fall hacker. Eight, 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 eight. eight. Thank you, thank you. Oh, now we're really popping off. Hyzon gifted subs. Wow, thank you, Hyzon. Holy shit. We got a sub for Tommy. We got a sub for Aaron. We got a sub for Neo. For SNN, for Anime Piano Angel. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. I am grateful for the support. Now, you see, you're just getting good vibes. Now you're going to win at poker. It's perfect. Good karma. You know? Damn, bro. He's going insane. To look at all that. Pete is worth spending money on instead of those greedy e-girls. <laughs> Can I be a greedy e-girl, please? Ooh, I want to see what Parlox does here. Does he hit black? And we got another follow. We got a follow from YouTube Censuros. Welcome. Welcome, YouTube. How are you today? Pete is our e-girl, yes. I am. But get me in a hot tub. I will show you my titties. Uh <laughs> hey, Tommy's here. What's up, Tommy? Tommy, I've been playing more Tommy-esque settings uh, recently. Little fixed caps, Europe Advanced. Sometimes I do fog. 
very beginning of the stream, I ate total shit about it, but you did hear? Excellent. <laughs> I'm enjoying! That map is is glorious. I really think the uh, the Europe Advanced map is is quite a masterpiece. And I, and I, I think with the with the ca cap, something is working, huh? No wonder you and, uh, and Niall and all those guys are having so much fun with it, so. Half of the sub was RNG. <laughs> the pathing on it just makes it so much fun. So here's, okay, Tommy, since I have you, here's what I don't really get, because I never catch the beginning of your show. How the fuck do you establish on that map? Like, your your cap placement must matter. Maybe that's what it is, right? I'm just picking lousy caps compared to you. But I seem to have a very volatile start. And if I can stabilize, then usually I can do okay. But how do you... The two questions are, how do you stabilize the early game? Um, and how do you prevent one player from just fucking snowballing and becoming impossibly strong? We're asking the, uh, the fixed caps expert in the chat based 69 stack absolutely fucking based very good question turn order plays massively okay Parlox doesn't like it. He doesn't like it, ladies and gentlemen. What are you going to do about it, Parlox? Yeah. I think you should hit it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lee General is not happy. <laughs> and Tommy says again, the easy ones are blocking off chokes. Okay, what happens if one of your opponents just starts getting really fucking strong, though? How do you address it? Do you have to address it? Do you hope someone else addresses it? You see where I'm going with this? Skip says, holy shit, 51 viewers. Fuck yeah, man. That is awesome to see. And it is, too. It is 50. Am I filtering? No. My, my lobbies? No. I'm actually, I, I don't even set these up, right? I join other people's games, usually. Why are you fucking rolling me, dude? Uh, okay, cuz. You think I should filter? Yeah. I'm finding the general level of a player. more inclined to join in an attack the higher you go ah so you're suggesting i filter up had to break the 69 did you though now he says bit of both you gotta swing like without crippling yourself but then if that doesn't work you gotta turtle up a bit hmm We'll talk about it on your show, Niley. But you're playing Prague, so a lot of the the style of play changes in. Oh, am I just getting teamed on? Hmm. It's not often I see a player snowball massively without being checked by half the lobby. Got it. Escape says, I'm just waiting to see how many people do the 69 stacks for the tournament tomorrow. Probably a lot.
We're in the FFA Finals Sunday. FFA Finals are Sunday. 20 UTC. Tommy says there's moments you can't do nothing, but that's risky. Yeah, makes sense. As you know, I'm generally a good neighbor off the bat, so that tends to encourage I don't get hit when alliances break down. Now he says, that reminds me, Pete, you were playing Escape's Tournament. If we can so, we can do after. I might be, I might not be. I, I supposed to have an IRL thing yesterday, or rather tomorrow, but that now may not be happening. So hopefully I can play in Escape's Tournament. But we don't know for sure. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Prolox quit. Yeah. Hmm. Prolox quitting here is bad. based if you are there I will try my best escape I will try my best it's uh it's all depending on <clears throat> IRL shit that that either is happening tomorrow or now isn't again so I don't want to be flaky I, you know I want to play so if I'm around I will definitely play clean up orange yeah orange wins uh El Matador 113 hi men love to see your video on YouTube yeah welcome Matador welcome welcome yeah we're just gonna kill everybody and take Parlox, then take me, or you take King John. Give me second. Just kill me last, please. Nah, fuck you, King John. Die. You suicided. Oh, I guess Orange Nightball is giving you second. There you are. GG. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative if you are interested in getting better. At The Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. Every other day I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck. Alright, so I think we can play 